mixing the chemicals for PMR Negin. I'm just going to use a standard PMR developer. Now the trick is that you've got actually half your development. This is a 1 to 9, so we're going to do a 1 to 20. So that means 50 milliliters to a liter of water, or 950 milliliters of water. So, open it up. Little jug. Mark where the 50 mil is, which is there. And we're just going to tip it in. Up to the 50 or thereabouts. I mean it doesn't have to be exact. The reasoning for this is to lower the contrast because the paper legs get quite contrasty. Right so I'll have a quick check on that. Yep that's on the 50 mil there. So close down that and we're going to add with pre-tempered water which is it 20 centimeters. See and we'll just fill that up first. I will pour it into the dish. Which in this case we're using a white dish, which you need for paper nagging. So there's the first one. And we'll pour the rest of the water in. Right, so your white dish now is full with your weakened debits solution. Okay, under the red light, we'll place the paper emulsion side down into the tray. Give it a little rock. Once it's been there for about 10 seconds and completely covered, we'll spin it over and we'll just gently ease it through. We're waiting for the actual image to appear up on the thing. We're waiting for actual the shadows to come. You've got a Devvies Vice site. So it's just a gentle rock. Usually after about 45 seconds you'll start seeing the image coming up. Eventually. If it exposed right. Starting to see a little bit of it now. I'll turn it towards the right way around for you. So we're getting the sky in, so we're waiting for a part of this part here to start coming in. Remember this will be a negative. See so where the sky is going quite black up there. So we want a little bit of detail in this part here. And just a little bit more. And it's like a constant agitation all the way through. Right, you start to see the details start to come up now, so we'll start scattering the whole of the picture, making sure the whole lot's covered. Gently on there. This is why um, UGDEM deliberately um, tried to keep the buildings either in the shade or did it on an overcast day. Unfortunately, the day we shot this on, it was quite contrasty the light. Right, that's about it now, so we'll go right, that looks like it's got enough DDL in there. Take it out, quick drip off, and into the stop, face down. Right, once it's been in the stop for a certain amount of time, we'll know it's ready for the fix. The fix is just the same standard mixture. So we'll let the stop drip off, here it drip. And place it face down, and the stop, I mean the fix. Let it run for a little while and then using the top ones, in this case my fingers, we'll flip it back over and we'll count to 30 before we can put any lights on there. And I'll just turn it back around so you can see the right way around and just let it run on there. So remember this is your negative. On the next stage we'll be doing the contact printing. But after it's been in the fix for about 3-4 minutes, we'll have to put it in the wash like your standard print. And you see when the lights come on, we've got it there. So now this is ready for the wash for about 10 minutes. Right, and now so the negatives that we took earlier on, 
It's dry, we're going to quickly examine the negative. Look at it there, we can see it's got the range of everything in. It's quite a flat negative. So we'll guess it about a grade 4. So obviously you would set your filters into a grade 4 for your actual positive for the contact print. Now usually on these you're looking at about 10, 20 seconds exposure from just the enlarger, just wide open on the enlarger lens. So first thing that we'll do is we'll put the negative down and we'll grab a glass sheet, sheet and a cloth. Because your glass sheet that's clear has to be ultra-really clean. So you can't see it like that. And then transparent. So once that's cleaned off, no finger marks or anything, we'll place it up near our head larger. Also you want to be putting your paper onto a blackboard so you can see it when you put the glass on because when you pile up your paper it just makes it easier to actually line up. Right so if you place your well I'll do this with the light on first to see your paper. So you will place your paper down like this under the red light line it up as much as you can then you would get another sheet, like say your contact print, which we'll see we're just going to be using this for the demonstration. You line that up again. So emulsion face and emulsion side. Grab a hold of your clean bit of glass. Place it onto the paper and just start feeling around and making sure it's completely in line with the whole lot. Then you bring your enlarger down. Ah, roughly doing on this takes the next week, depending on the enlarger you've got. Try your lens is wide open. Then you would actually just press it on for about 20 seconds. So now when we looked at the neck, luckily the building was in the shade. So the negative was quite flat and contained a lot of information. So you'd all your filters to a grade 4 on the paper, or you'd use a graded paper. We'll place the fresh side down, we'll line it up on the black marks. We'll get a negative, place it on both side facing each other. We'll get it in line. Grab a glass cleaned plate. Rest on that top, that keeps the ball flat and together so you don't lose any kind of sharpness. You check that there's no air bubbles in between them. A little press, I mean, it should just feel flat. Right, we'll bring the enlarger down, down there, and I'm going to give it a 20 second blast. Which seems a long, long time. Remember, this is your test sheet. Take the glass off once the enlarger is finished. Remove your neck. Make sure you face it upwards so you know you definitely got it there. And pick up your paper and take it to the tree. Right, add motion side down. Drop it in. We'll sort the timer off. Once the full of the paper is actually covered in the, in the Devon solution, this is the full strength print in Dev 1 to 9, or what the actual manufacturers recommend, because you're making a print now as a positive. So we want to see if it comes out and see if we test print is okay. Then you would fine tune it from there. Right, it's starting to see the image coming up now. Again, 
are upside down so I'll turn around for you. Oh, see how we see the whole of the building now. I want to see the actual part of the pavement. Up through there, so that's like being in there for a minute now. I want to give the dev the, the paper the full development treatment, otherwise, we won't be able to control it. So that's going to be two minutes in the actual dev solution. It's coming up through. Try to turn, it's a minute and a half. There you go, on there. I'm still seeing detail in it. So we're all okay there. Maybe it's a couple of seconds either side. If you find your image is too, too contrasty, even at grade zero, 0, this is where you would start using the pencil on the back of the negative, which will be a full different lesson. Right, we'll put it on the two minutes now. So, pick it up. Let the excess strain off. And place it in the stop for the 30 seconds. So, after the 30 seconds of the stop, Pull it out, let the excess stop drain off, and push it side down, and give that two to four minutes in the actual fix. Right, turn it back over. And turn the, so it's the right way around. Once it's been in there for like, say, 30 seconds to a minute, we can turn the light on and have a look. Right with the lights on, we'll see how the image is transformed while it sits in the fix for that extra minute or so. And quick run it over with your lightsaber. And you see there where it's got the DDL on and everything. Right, so as we've got it there. We'll bring it from the fix into a, bring it into a different trail, turn your water on and restore the wash and leave it there for as long as you like. As long as it's more than about 10 minutes or so. Just let the water just run over your fix. 